Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'll be creating a prayer layout in my Faith Binder. I do have another video on my channel where I kind of show um, my initial entry and the products that I'm using for this project, so I will link that down below so you can check that out. Um, lots of Felicity Jane goodies that I'm using for the binder and things like that. But for today's layout, I'm gonna be using some printables from Illustrated Faith, and um, I've gone ahead and done a little bit of prep work ahead of time. I've picked two sets. It's the Jesus Makes Me Worthy from Isabella. She has has a set of these beautiful papers. These are printable, so you can print them on whatever material that you want. Um, and so the papers come with all of these different patterns, including this rainbow pattern that you see back there. And then she also has a set um, that coordinates with these uh, that has all of these cut apart pieces and some little journaling cards and things like that. I've already gone ahead and pre-cut everything out just for the sake of the video, um, but I will link those printables down below so you can see what all comes in those sets. Uh, I. Uh, don't always follow the illustrators and designers and things like that, um, but I'm trying to be more intentional about just you know, following and looking into them. And uh, Isabella just is amazing. You need to go check out her Instagram. I'll link it down below. She is just speaking such light and truth into this community right now. And I think that's really what we need. And so I'm just loving her, what she's posting, what she's designing and that kind of thing. And so I'm excited to use her products today. Typically, I'll just go through and kind of look at the Illustrated Faith Printables and pick what's pretty or what jumps out to me. But I'm trying to be more intentional about, um, what I'm using and what I'm promoting, what I'm sharing with you guys. And so I'll talk a little bit more about that as we go, you know, into fast forward and I kind of talk about um, what I'm journaling today. But I went ahead and pre-cut out all the little elements, picked out some of the things that I'm going to be using. Um, I've been loving this stamp set from Illustrated Faith with these butterflies, seeing how you guys are using these butterfly wings. And so when I saw these die sets, I grabbed them because they really remind me of the stamp set as well. So you could use the stamp set in place of the dies if you don't have a manual die cutting machine, but I'm using these today. Um, I have these two sets from Sizzix. This one here is Detailed Butterflies Mini. I will link them both down below. Um, this particular set comes with the background and the little delicate top layer. So I went ahead and cut out the background from some of those pattern papers and then cut out the delicate top layer. Um, when I cut this out, I did add some double-sided adhesive to my cardstock first and then ran that through my die cutting machine. That way it turned this into a sticker um, and it would just be a little bit easier. With delicate pieces like this, it can be a little tricky to add a bunch of adhesive. And then there's this second set that only has the toppers. So it's just all of these like delicate um, butterflies. I think this would be really pretty to maybe do like a uh, watercolor background and then die cut them out um, or great for all of these pattern papers and things like that. And so that is what I'm going to be using um, because there are some butterflies in Isabella's set. Uh, I'm going to be doing my prayer journaling on a tag. It's going to be a little bit more private this time. So I've gone ahead and pre-cut out some tags using my favorite tag die set. I get, use this all the time. So I'll link that down below. And so I will be working on that. And then I've just pulled out a few other things. Everything will be linked down below. Um, but let me go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and we'll start putting this together and I'll kind of talk about um, just kind of what's been, you know, on my heart lately. All right, so one of the things I like about that binder is I can take the pages out and work on them separate from the binder. The base of these pages, that grid paper, is just some grid paper from Felicity Jane that I had in my stash, as well as that aqua colored paper there that is from Felicity Jane as well. And I'm gonna use that to create a pocket. So I took that over to my sewing machine, added some stitching and stitched on that little piece of paper so that it would create a pocket there for my prayer tag. Now I only have one prayer tag for today, but I realized I could always come back and insert more tags onto this layout. So I will definitely be doing pockets more frequently through this binder. Um, as I have specific topics or things I'm thinking about, I'll come back and add more prayers to it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start sticking down some of those die cuts and things. Um, on the left hand side, before I stick things down, I am going to add a little bit of texture paste. So I pulled out this stencil. This is an older stencil, but they do have a few left over at scrapbook.com. So I linked it down below and I'm going in with just some white uh, texture paste through the stencil. Again, the nice thing about a binder is you can make things fluffy and chunky and it's going to work okay because there's a lot of space in that binder. So as I'm doing that, the rest of this video is just going to be, you know, gluing things down and sticking things down. And so as I sat down to pray and just some things that have been on my heart lately, uh, I know that many of you have watched the documentary on Netflix, um, American Gospel. I will try to link it down below. Uh, you may be able to rent it through Amazon Prime as well if you don't have Netflix. Um, if you've not seen that documentary, I would one 
100% encourage you to. It is fantastic. It addresses um, prosperity gospel teaching and explains what it is and what to look out for when you're, um, you know, listening to sermons and following pastors and things like that. And so it is, it's like a must see in my book. And so after seeing that video, I had a conviction that I felt like I needed to look at some of the things that I share and talk about and companies I work with and, and that kind of thing. Now, I want to preface this by saying this is a conviction of my own. I'm not saying that you need to do this or that the Bible is telling you to do this. This was just my own conviction from the Holy Spirit within me. Um, you know, I have a platform. I have followers. Many of you guys, you know, watch what I do and, and follow the people I follow and watch the things I watch and things like that. And so it's, it's important to me and it is a big heavy weight on my shoulders that I'm only sharing with you guys things that I think are true biblical teachings. And I'm human. I'm not perfect. I'm not God. I don't get to judge people. I don't get to judge things. Um, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to make mistakes. But that's why I want you guys to come in and hold me accountable or ask questions about things or um, bring things to my attention. I, I want that to happen. And so going forward with the things that I work with, only in regards to Bible journaling products, not products that come from the secular world, because we know that they're going to have secular people behind them. Um, but when it comes to Bible journaling products, I want to make sure that they are coming from people who I believe um, have sound biblical foundations and uh, have a good theology and are speaking life, light, and truth, and love into the world. And so, like I said, I'm not going to always get it right. <laughs> this is going to be a learning experience for me. We're going to kind of learn as we go. Um, but I'm kind of evaluating things because I don't always follow the people behind the products that I use. I honestly don't. There's just so many of them. But I have found as some of you have brought things to my attention or if I, I've started following people, um, realize that, you know, yes, the, the product itself may have been totally fine. But if you guys were to, to start following that person, and based off the product that I used and their teaching isn't sound teaching or if they're, you know, falling into, if they're listening to prosperity gospel preachers or they're into new age uh, things and things like that, I don't want that. I, I don't want you guys to think that somebody I'm recommending is 100% biblically accurate because I said it was and then you start following them and fall into bad teaching. Um, that might not be the best way or <laughs> to word that, but I um, and so that's why when I picked this set, I recently discovered Isabella, went over to her feed and started following her. And she is amazing. She, her feed is preaching Jesus, pointing women to Jesus, speaking love and truth and light. And I think it's amazing. And so I can with confidence use her products. And if you want to follow her and, and that kind of thing, then definitely go for it. Uh, I would encourage you to, um, she just has such an amazing heart for God. And, and I want to point people to that. And so going forward, I, you know, used to just pick things, Bible journaling things based off of the topic I want to talk about or, or how pretty it is or whether it's trendy or things like that. But I'm really going to start holding myself accountable um, and looking into the people that are behind the products, the company behind the products um, when it comes to Bible journaling products. So I ask for grace and love as we go forward with this. If there's something I shared and you're like, hey, Lindsay, did you see this, that or the other? Please let me know privately, not in the comments. Um, please come to me through email or, you know, DMs on my Instagram and privately, um, have those conversations with me. I, the, my intention is not to fall into cancel culture. I don't want to cancel people. I don't want to name people that I've stopped, you know, following or using or things like that. Um, I want that to be, you know, something that you prayerfully consider and look into on your own. Um, cause cancel culture is a very real thing and I don't want to be a part of that. So, um, just know going forward, I am taking this very seriously, what I share, what I talk about, um, and the resources that I give to you guys. Um, I want that to be, you know, important to me and I want you guys to come here and feel confident that you are getting, you know, teaching from good sound places. I'm not a Bible teacher, but I like to give out, um, resources and things like that. And so I want them to be, you know, a of good teaching. So that is kind of what came about with this. So my prayer is on that. I'm, I'm praying on that, praying on some things that have um, come to light recently for me and just things that I'm, you know, wrestling with in my own heart and, and that kind of thing. So my prayer is definitely private. It's going to go on the back side of this tag. Um, while I was chit-chatting there, I did add some uh, texture paste to this tag as well. And then the paint that I'm using there is some distress paint from uh, Ranger and Tim Holtz and it is a water reactive paint and so I'm just adding a little bit of paint to it and or water to it and then adding it to the tag. The tag is just a plain cardstock tag so I it 
I had to be careful about how much water I used on it, but I did add another tag layer behind it that I typed on. So it kind of reinforced and flattened out that tag. Um, but I'm just pulling some pieces from Isabella's set um, to add in there, just some scripture that jumped out to me um, in regards to what I was praying over and just some reminders that I wanted for myself um, and that kind of thing. So I would encourage you to maybe start a prayer binder and writing down your prayers has been really helpful for me that it helps me stay on task. It helps me keep my prayers lined up like the things and people that I want to pray for and, and that kind of thing without getting distracted. And I have it written down so I can come back to it. Um, and that's what I plan on filling this uh, binder with. So like I said, everything will be linked down below for you guys. You can head on over to Illustrated Faith and pick up this printable. I'll link um, Isabella's Instagram down for you guys. Definitely follow her. She's got I guess an amazing feed to follow um, and everything else that I use will be linked down below. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. If you want, feel free to email me, lindsaydecor at gmail.com. If you want to keep it, you know, private between you and I, that would be great. I love having those conversations. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.